Prince Harry has revealed the name, cover and release date of his memoir, which Carl's already pre-ordered. I have. <laughs> Royal editor at the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers. He has two and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Rusty. Uh, the title, Spare. Spare me. Wow. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't because I'm going to give you an, ab an abridged version of the very lengthy PR piece we were put out today. And this is uh, welcomed with a very, very glossy picture of a very much airbrushed Pince Harry with the words spare. And this is a term, of course, that refers to this, the air and the spare, which Prince Harry has referenced himself that he had throughout his whole childhood and he never liked it one bit. So I'm quite surprised that he's chosen such an incendiary word to launch his uh, his new book. But um, I suppose all the royals are going to be watching and waiting, and not only the royals, I think their lawyers are going to be watching uh, as well because uh, it, apparently it's going to be full of explosive details. He's going to be giving revelation after revelation. So I can't wait. He seems so happy after he met Megs. Well, I'm not too sure. I mean, he, he's a he, he's a bit of a troubled fellow, <laughs> Harry. And uh, one would one would have thought he would have oh, just no. disappeared to the sunset and uh, enjoyed his life. I mean, he's made an awful, awful lot of money, hundreds of millions of dollars. He's been paid about 65 mi a million uh, Aussie dollars for this book. I mean, he's only donating a, ver a very small percentage of that to charity. And yet he's always claimed that he wanted a private life. He just wanted to get on with his family life. And here we are having him travel the royal family or you know maybe i'm being a bit unfair i mean it does uh, it does look that way that he's going to come out all guns blazing and uh, one thing's for sure if he does do that it's not going to do much good for his relationship with the rest of the family no and of course we've still got that netflix show that's going to come out as well so the book's being released on january 10 um, do you think he's going to get an invite to the coronation well, I mean, I suppose we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? I mean, the, the, you talk about January 10th. It was uh, originally scheduled for late November, then into December. And then, of course, we had the unfortunate, uh, you know, the, the Queen's passing, um, which is very sad for the rest of the family. And I'm sure that there was a lot of furious rewriting between him and his ghostwriter and the publishers, because they want to get all that detail in about him. Uh, you know, being with his family during those few weeks. But uh, listen, I think there there is an awful lot of time between now and the book coming out and then the coronation. And I imagine it will be full of bombs. Uh, we'll all be talking about it at the time. And uh, I, I, I'm pretty certain in saying that I don't think this is probably the way to go about uh, offering an olive branch to your family that um, you've got a pretty dodgy relationship with anyway. Oh, yeah, he's just like a messy. spare at a wedding, isn't he? At a wedding? Yeah, anyway. It's an old oh, saying. I know what that saying is. Pa. Good on you, Rusty. Love you. Prince Harry's long-awaited memoir. Is it long-awaited? Long-awaited. It finally has a name and a release date. Let's go live to US correspondent Alison Petrowski, who's no doubt pre-ordered her copy already. Ali, it's called Spare. Mm, Ouch. Interesting, isn't it? A real dig at the royal family, clearly, and Harry's position in it. Ali, good morning to you. Uh, this memoir is set to drop on January 10. That is the first look of the cover right there with Spare written underneath. His publisher, Penguin Random House, confirming the news in a statement this morning, saying, For Harry, this is his story at last. With its raw, unflinching honesty, Spare is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love and grief. Now, Ali, it is expected that Harry will talk about the death of Princess Diana in great detail. We expect him to talk about he and Meghan's dramatic exit from the royal family and the life that they are building here for themselves in Southern California. What is not clear is whether or not he's updated the book to reference the Queen's death and that much-watched uh, much period of mourning that we saw play out. It's also not clear whether this book will help heal the relationship uh, with the royal family, but I'm guessing, Ali, from that title, that is probably unlikely. Uh, the proceeds of the book will go to some of Harry's favourite charities. And we are also expecting a Netflix documentary featuring Meghan and Harry to drop in the coming months as well. So uh, lots of controversy coming up uh, with Harry and Meghan, guys, and you never know what is going on behind closed doors. But I dare say this would be a hot topic of conversation this morning, Ellie. They're just living that quiet life that they were after. Yeah, letting it all go. Privacy. <laughs> privacy. Not letting us know. I don't know if there's going to be an invite to the coronation after this one. Can Thanks, you please Mary. get that for me for Christmas?
I've already yeah. pre-ordered it. So I, you know. I'm really looking forward to it. I've got you the, um, the audio one, so you don't oh, even yeah. have to read the pages. I can hear his voice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's that's mega. the best. Oh, no. <laughs> that's mean. Spare host, maybe spare pair of undies. Well, now you can add Prince Harry's new memoir to that list. Look at that title. The Duke revealing the name, cover oh. and the release date of his highly anticipated tell-all, Spare. Oh, we've all been waiting for this. Royal editor at the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers, joins us now. Russ, what do you think? Well, morning, guys. Well, I'm just getting over uh, thinking about David's spare undies. But, uh, <laughs> but after that, uh, you're welcome. The title of the book is extraordinary. And after, you know, I, I settled and I thought about it and uh, I thought it was a meme at first, but this is the actual title and this is the, uh, the front cover that we're seeing now. I thought it was a bit sad, to be honest, because is this what Prince Harry thinks about himself? I mean, it's an old play on the phrase, the air and the spare. This is what um, Diana had referred to, the, to her two boys when they were growing up. And uh, it's got, you know, a, a really sad connotation for Prince Harry. But um, again, a really explosive, I think, this book is going to be. And uh, certainly the royals and the people I've spoken to at the palace have, uh, are all bracing themselves for it because it's going to be dropping some pretty big bombshells, I imagine. I think you're Right, the sadness does creep in, but also if you label, you know, children listen. If you label them something, they hear it and they carry it for most of their lives, and maybe that's what's going to come out of this too. So it's not going to come out till January 10th, so we've got a bit of time before we can actually read it, Russ. So what's going to happen at Christmas time for this family? It's going to be very interesting. Well, it is, and, the, and obviously the uh, the timing is very, very interesting because uh, it was supposed to be in November, then shifted to December. Obviously, we've had the Queen's passing uh, in the interim period. Uh, I, listen, I think there will be some sharing of the turkey and there will be some Christmas presents, but certainly Harry and Meghan will not be a part of that. I'd be absolutely astonished if they came over and uh, and shared Christmas, especially with this book on the horizon. You know, and, and King Charles is trying to set out his, his stall. He's trying to get on with the job. Certainly the Prince and Princess of Wales are trying to do that as well. But who are we only hearing from at the moment? It's Meghan with her podcast, you know, talking about her life in the royal family. And now with this book only just weeks away, I mean, it's just going to be absolutely uh, explosive. I, I I can't imagine a, a reason why we won't all be pouring over it. Well, the press release says it will contain raw, unflinching honesty, an accurate first-hand account of royal life. How likely is that, though, given the edits that Harry's requested? Well, I'm not sure, you know, it will be a first-hand account. I mean, it will be a truth. I mean, we had Meghan saying that with Oprah Winfrey, didn't we, you know, about their truth. Um, and, of course, there are always two sides to the story. I mean, maybe many sides with people or the characters involved in this. Um, again, the big blurb today was saying this is Prince Harry's f uh, first opportunity to really tell his story. And I really do think there's going to be some score settling here. So mm. it won't be, you know, all sweetness and light, olive branches. I mean, I can only just see this going one way. And, uh, and it, you know, it comes back to that sadness, doesn't it? And about how all these relationships will be further tangled. And, uh, and I just cannot see how, uh, how any good will come of it, Who, uh, unfortunately. Who's most likely to come in for it? Well, undoubtedly, you know, Charles is going to be at the forefront, isn't he? Because, uh, you know, Ch Harry has spoken about the genetic pain, about how Charles has said, you know, it was this way for me, so it's going to be that way for you. Certainly, the relationship with Camilla, uh, I mean, we, the, just the blurb on the book from the publishers today discussed about the, that image of the two boys walking behind their mother's coffin. Mm. So that is going to be a big, big vein throughout this book. And, uh, you know, what will he say about William and Kate? I mean, uh, the, the relationships are just going to be trashed all over the place. I think. Also, he's probably going to speak about his own trauma. You were talking about the, the, the you know, march behind the coffin then. Maybe there'll be a lot of self-analysing too. We'll see mm. what happens when this comes out. But I'm buying it. I'm downloading the audio book. I'm getting it all, Russ. I'm yep. sure you are too. When do you think we'll see excerpts, just quickly? Well, I, I don't think we're going to see it until it hits the stores, really. I think right. we're just all right. going to be reading it throughout the world at the same time. OK. All Very right, Russ. Good to see you, mate. Have a great weekend. Coming up on Today Extra... G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>